Tubbs, certainly a game two halves today. What are your thoughts coming away from that? That's a nice pizza them two have got there, isn't it? <laughs> Look at these two. Ulcers! Um, yeah, we had a dig and, and you know, the second half, um, what a challenge for us. We spoke about that half time, we either uh, we have a fight or we roll over and get his belly stick on. And I'm pleased to say that we had a dig and we had a fight and we had a, we had a good go at them and I thought, uh, you know, that's the spirit that we were looking for. We were a little disappointed in the first half. Again, just the little individual errors that are costing us at the moment. It's not, it's not everybody, you know, it's just one knock, knock off a concentration and let it try in and, you know, there's, there's three or four of them in the first, uh, the first half that cost us dear. And when you're playing against teams like last week, uh, like this week against good teams, they're, they're going to hit you and they're, they're going to rack up points and and, uh, and that's what teams like Featherston can do. So, did we learn as lessons from last week? Maybe not, but did we have a, a, a real good dig in the second half here? I'm immensely proud. Isaac Farrell and Jason Bassett well into the squad today. Uh, how do you feel like? Yeah, great, great to have Bassett back. Uh, uh, Isaac obviously only missed one. I, I don't know, I think he got a bit of lead in his boots at the end there. He, he usually strokes them over quite easily, doesn't he? So, uh, yeah, good to get him back, uh, you know, and uh, and get him playing. So, yeah, you know, we still want to two light out, you know, Dougie and, and Fast to come back uh, and, and Joel to come back. We need them. You know, we need all hands on deck for, uh, for next week, which is going to be another tough game. Certainly, you're learning careful like Sir Ronnie Johnson today. Going hey, great for him. Yeah, great for him, and I thought he did a great job. You know, he excites me. I've got, I've got to say that Ryan Johnson really excites me. I think he's got so much potential. He's going to get bigger. He's got a big frame. He just needs to fill out, and once he fills out, he's going to be an handful. So, uh, uh, you know, he'll be talking about that for some, from, you know, for some years to come. About the day that he, he, he met the, uh, the big man himself. Chris Wallen can't uh, not speak about today. We are speaking about Chris. 350 appearances uh, for career, uh, a rugby league legend. I guess. Special for him against one of his his old clubs. He, I thought that he, uh, uh, you know, just wow. You know, when I, when when he phoned me and said, you know, I'd like to come and play for Sheffield. You know, it wasn't me chasing him. And I, I, I sat down. I had a couple of hours with him, and I realised what a um, a great ad addition he would be to the club, and what a great character and a, a, a great man. And, and there's no wonder he's played 350 games in, in this great game because uh, of, of what he stands for. And he's come in, he, you know, he's just got his head down, he's, he's trained, he's worked hard. Uh, I think he's, you know, he, the last three or four weeks, I think he's been outstanding for us, and he was today. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a special moment before the before the game. Keith uh, did a quick chat with him, and then. Um, his, his missus and, and the kids came in and, and presented him uh, the shirt, so I, I thought it was uh, apt for him and uh, you know, it's, it's a great achievement for him. Moving on to next week and more on the injuries uh, from uh, likes of Guzzi, I know he's been out for a, a while and also Brandon Douglas and Joel Farrell, how uh, are they looking? Oh look, fingers crossed, um, Dougie will be good for next week, fingers crossed uh, so will uh, Joel. Um, so yeah, on, on that side they're all right. Kirky had a bit of a knock today. We'll have to check on him next week. Uh, Q, uh, look, he, you know he's, he's, he's coming back after not. He's only played three games, and the last three games for us after, you know, not playing since September. So we just got to manage him a little bit uh, and, w and work with him so he, we don't kill him straight away. We don't burn him out. So yeah, hopefully there'll be a couple of back next week, and uh, we can strengthen because you know we've got a we've got a is it a playoff to get a semi-final, so uh, we want to win that, and uh, we're back here, are we? Back at Featherston, Saturday.